I just want to say um, good morning to everybody and welcome to our first ever live online 5K Your Way meetup. And for those of you who do not know me, my name is Gemma Hillier Moses. I'm the founder of Move Charity and the co founder of our 5K Your Way initiative with the fabulous Lucy Gossard. And I have, I'm also a qualified cancer rehab specialist, but I also have a lovely assistant today. <laughs> So, Carolyn, would you like to introduce yourself? I'm Carolyn Garrett, and I, again, I'm a personal trainer specialising in cancer rehab, have done for several years, and I'm the ambassador for Southwark's 5K Your Way. Amazing. So, we're really lucky to have Carolyn join us today, and we're going to be being a bit of a tag team during this Move Your Way session. So today is all about sticking to our 5K Away principles and we've been missing you guys a lot so we thought we'd bring this session um, every two weeks to you so the next one will be the date of our 5K Away meetup which is quite exciting. But our principles still stay the same regardless of what we're going on with COVID-19. So we are a support group with a difference. We are a walk and run club with a difference. We are a coffee morning with a difference. And we are a social opportunity. We're the difference. So if you haven't, if you are part of our community and have already experienced that, fantastic. But if you are new to us today, um, that, that is basically what we are about. So what we're going to do is we're doing these sessions virtually um, and bringing them to you a little bit more regularly. So the timing, so today we're turning this session into a Move Your Way session. So like 5K Your Way, it's important to remember that you can join in in your own pace in your own time and at your own intensity um, that is really comfortable for you. And what we've decided to create today is a cardio and strength session that is geared towards 5K your way. So running and walking, basically. We're not doing a Joe Wicks hit workout, are we, Carolyn? <laughs> that That's is not what we're about. Not doing a Joe Wicks workout. <laughs> that is not what we're about. It's about gentle exercise, doing it at your own pace, and if you want to take it a little bit harder, you can do. Um, so this is a movement session. So it is designed for our 5K Away community, but it is not designed for anyone specific, cancer diagnosis, your specific health condition, your own goals and your own needs. So please avoid any exercises that you don't feel comfortable with and please adapt the session to be right for you. And so if it's your first time in joining in 5K Away or, or increasing movement into your, your daily activity, Please build into this session gradually. And Carolyn, as you can see, gets, is sitting on the chair. So we'll be doing the chair-based um, version of what I will be doing. So there are many different options with that. Remember, pretty much like 5K away and park run, you will not get left behind. We are your tail walkers. <laughs> so you will not be left behind. We will be supporting you and we will be um, there for you right till the end of that session. So no one is left alone. If you're not quite up for doing the full workout, absolutely fine. Do whatever is right for you. If you want to be up with a faster runner, similar to Park Run and 5K Away Group, that is fine. You up your intensity. You make it a little bit harder for yourself. But we will be doing a moderate, an easy to moderate level of exercise during the session. But also, similar to 5K Away, if you just want to have a cup of tea, sit in the garden, watch what we do, and then maybe take part in an, uh, another time. That is absolutely fine. We will be joining you for that cup of tea at the end. So remember to just give us a little bit of a cheer um, at the end of this session. So how does that sound, everybody? So I'm just looking at the comments. Morning, what a beautiful day. People are watching. Hello, guys. It's really great to see you all. Um, so just before we get started, Started for the session. Are you ready, Carolyn? I'm ready. Yeah, yeah. Good. Okay. <laughs> Few house rules. We just want to make sure that you have a drink ready and by the side so that you can um, keep hydrated during the session, especially if you're outside because it's a beautiful morning today. And um, this is a bod. Yep. <laughs> We've got ours. Okay. Um. So this is a body weight session. So. If you would like to keep it body weight, that's absolutely fine. We will just be using our body weight. However, if you want to add some equipment to make things a little bit harder for you, a little bit more intense, please add equipment. If you 
don't have home equipment, absolutely fine. You can use two tins, or we've also seen some wine bottles being used as exercise equipment this week. <laughs> don't condone that at 9 a.m. in the morning for a drink afterwards, but you know, circumstances. <laughs> <laughs> um, you can also use your Easter eggs if you haven't eaten them all like we have already. <laughs> Um, and then the final thing is, we are not going to have any background music because it interferes with the stream. So make sure you put some music on, put some motivating music on so you can start your morning in the right way. Does that sound good, everybody? Good. So I'm just going to make sure you guys can see me as I'm going to move a little bit further back. So what we're going to start off with is we're going to have a warm-up, nice and easy warm-up. Then we're going to go into more of a cardio-based set of exercises. We're going to move into some strength and core-based exercises with Carolyn. And then what we're going to finish off with some light stretching as a warm down. So first, move your way online session. Let's get this going. Right, so we're going to first start off with, I'm going to set my watch, we're going to start off with light walking. Okay, so just marching on the spot. You can have your hands down to the side or you can bring them together with you. So imagine that you're only 5K your way walk. Okay, we're gonna go round. You want to go round. Imagine you're talking to your friend next door. Nice, light walking. That's good. So just march. If you wanna make it a bit more intense, you can bring your knees up into more of a march. Really good, guys. So my timing might not be great, but that's fine. So again, let's take a little walk round. Imagine we're in our fighting away group. Imagine we're all together. That's going to get us through this session. Now, if any of you are joining me from a chair rather than bouncing around like Gemma, I'm sitting on a chair that's quite firm, it's quite stable, and it's back against a railing so it can't slide away. And I'm deliberately sitting up, so I'm not leaning on the back of my chair. I'm holding my back and my spine nice and long, and I'm using my belly muscles to help me warm up, whichever you need. Fabulous. So those of you who can and want to, we're going to take this into a nice little job. But for those of you who want to stay walking, please just stay in that march. So what we're looking at here is just raising that heart rate slightly. Okay, just getting our bodies nice and loose on a Saturday morning at nine o'clock. Yeah, I can already hear, my, hear mine. So again, if you want to make it interested and take it round, we can do that as well. So just nicely jogging on the spot. And you can see Carolyn's increasing that intensity slightly on the chair base exercise as well. And if any of you are doing it in a chair, don't be surprised, you'll feel it in your thighs, you'll feel it in your quads. It's harder than it looks marching in a chair. <laughs> We've tested <laughs> it out this week and I can definitely vouch for that as well. So awesome work, guys. We can feel the energy in the room. We can feel that you're all with us today. And we're getting our 5K away community and anybody else who's joining in together with us. Okay, so take it down to a standing position. Now, what we're going to do now is you're going to squat and reach. And with the squats, we don't want to go too low, but you don't want to let your legs drop in either. So keep your, push your knees out. You want to squat down slightly and reach up. Squat down and reach up. So Carolyn's going to demonstrate hers. I'm going to come up and then I'm going to reach. I'll come facing in a minute. But so you can see, can you see how I'm sitting back? So I'm not putting too much pressure on my knees. I'm reach, sit, sitting down into the chair and then reaching across. I'm going to come around this way. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. So let's get going. Three, two, one, go. So reaching down and up. We're trying to do it in So just doing this at home, sinking down and up. If you want to make it a little bit more intense for a warm up, you can go a little bit lower. But again, adapt the session to you. Good. Again, if you don't want to reach too high, you can just reach across. Good work, guys. Really good. Okay. About 10 more seconds left of this. And remember, this is just the warm-up. So 
So let's just move our body, that's what this is all about. Let's like, just imagine you all having some amazing music on and getting yourself moving. Great work, guys. Five, four, three, two, one. We're just going to go back to marching on the spot for 30 seconds in between. That's good. So while we're doing that, I'm just going to check on our live Facebook. Make sure everybody is here. Good morning, guys. Good morning, everybody is with us. Milk bottles are full of water, works well for your equipment. Brilliant. Okay, that's great. So the next exercise, we're actually going to go into mid-range squats. So again, in this position, just squatting down and up. So squeezing those glute muscles, those bum muscles coming down. Really good functional exercise, so not too low. You see Carolyn's as well. Good. So we're going to start this exercise in three, two, one, go. Good, guys. Woo! Can we feel the man, yeah? <laughs> yeah, Gemma, this is supposed to be just the warm up. <laughs> I know. <laughs> what a way to start a, start a Saturday morning. I'm two cups of tea down already, which <laughs> shows I definitely needed the caffeine. Good. Really good, guys. We know you're with us. We know you're joining in. Remember, just keep this nice and light and steady. Okay, in 10 seconds. Good. My timing's atrocious, so <laughs> bear with me on that one. That's really good. And if you're in the sunshine, lucky you. So we're just going to move into now our boxing punches. So you can either stand up in a position, straight position, or you can bend slightly and, and squat into this position. So this is where we're just going to punch forward. I think it'd be worth sending it out in front of you. <laughs> So we're going to do this again in the cardio session. So this is just nice and light. So don't take it too fast. Just nice and light punches. And you can see, Carolyn, it's all done sitting down as well. So let's start the watch. Ready, go. We'll do 30 seconds of this, guys. Really good. Hope you're all enjoying it. Hope we're setting you up for the day of moving your way. And hope you're adapting the session to fit your own needs. Whew. Maybe we need to do this when we're walking around those park runs with our 5 kway groups when we're back up and running. <laughs> Good. Good work, guys. So nearly there with the warm-up. Really good work. Let's keep going. And relax. So the next one is going to be a slight squat and a side bend over. So I've got a light above me. So you're just going to squat down and stretch. Squat down and stretch. So, Carolyn, do you want to show yours? We're going to stay in the chair for this one just because we've been working the quads quite a lot. So, we're going to reach, and what we're going to try and feel is some movement through the ribs, but not slouching, holding your back nice and long, keeping your chest up, and just getting some movement through the shoulders. If you're anxious about your shoulders, we're just going to do a turn into a side bend. For real. So, lots of options for you guys to get involved in. So, let's start in three, two, one, go. And stretch. Oh, definitely need that this morning. I think with a lot of sitting down, a lot of us need some nice gentle stretches actually. Um, definitely people are probably doing a lot more sitting down on sofas and chairs definitely. that you're not used to sitting down on. So definitely some light stretching is super important right now. Okay, five seconds of this. Good guys. That's awesome. And then we're going to go, oh, we are in time, Carolyn. Look, That's one more. <laughs> like that. <laughs> we are in time. And relax. So what I want you to do now is just grab a drink. Just shake off that body. We've got some music. Have a little dance. Um, we kind of wish I had some music on now, but you can dance to anything. <laughs> so also while you're just waiting, so uh, my co-founder of 5K Away, Lucy Gossard, said, Jemmy, you need to dress up for this session. And one of her ideas was dressing up as a chicken. And I was like, absolutely not. And I don't have a chicken outfit. However, Lucy, this is for you because it's Easter weekend. We have, we don't want to take it too seriously. So we have our bunny ears. So as promised, I'm going to do the rest of the session as much as they don't fall off with my Easter bunny ears on. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> <not>. <laughs> what was that? 
I'm not. <laughs> no, no, Carolyn. We didn't think it was an essential item from the supermarket, but I managed to sneak mine in. So. <laughs> right, guys, hope you are still with us. Let's just have a little check. Everybody is still with us. Great. Make sure you've got a water bottle. Thanks, Georgie, for keeping on with the group and the comments. So let's go. We're going to do some of the same exercises again. But more in a little bit more in the intensity this time. Not too much. Remember, you can take it at the same pace if you would like to. So main cardio sets coming up. So let's get into the marching on the spot. So we're just going to take our knees a little higher for this session. Good. So imagine we're walking around our local park run here with our 5k away group with your lovely park run tail walkers, myself and Carolyn. <laughs> Leading the way. Let's go, guys. Good work. Actually, while we're doing this bit, can we just do a particular shout out, actually? If anybody's joining us today that's on the three month self isolation thing, then we know it's horrible not being able to get outdoors, especially if you've not got a garden. So we're with you. <laughs> Absolutely. And um, we all our groups have Facebook pages that you guys can connect with. We're going to be doing this every two weeks. So we are with you, we're here to support, and we're here to hopefully inspire and motivate you this morning to show what you can do in your own home as well. So yes, good shout out there, Carolyn. Right, we're gonna go into a jog if you can. If you can't, just keep it onto that march and walk. That's absolutely fine. So we should feel a slight raise in heart rate at the moment. Again, if you want to move this faster, we're going to go for those high knees. So we're going to do 30 seconds of this. Good. Good work, guys. Hopefully you're all still with us. <laughs> Carolyn and Gemma for our Move Your Way session this morning for our 5K Away community and beyond. Good work, guys. And three, two, one, and relax. So now we're going to go straight into similar exercise to our warm up, but we're going to squat a little lower and reach up. Squat down and reach up. Good. So, Carolyn will show you the chair based exercise. So, three. So again, if, you, if you're happy to come out of the chair and reach, we will. Or if you want to stay in the chair and reach, whichever is best for you. Brilliant. So, three, two, one, go. Good work, guys. So let's burn the energy off for our Easter eggs. <laughs> no, we don't exercise to eat chocolate, we just eat chocolate anyway. So that's what we like about Easter. Good, so hopefully you're out, maybe out in your garden or in your lounge at home joining us today. Good work, guys. Really good. So I can feel my heart rate for you, Carolyn. Yeah, completely. <laughs> We're loving this as much as you guys as well. <laughs> so. Three, two, one, and relax. Just give those legs a little shake. So we're going to go straight into um, squats. So mid-range squats if you want to, so just jumping down and up. Or you can test yourself by going a little bit lower. So Carolyn will show the exercise on the chair. Yeah. Stand up and sit down and stand up and sit down. Keep your feet flat on the floor. And as you stand up, drive your heels into the floor. It'll help you uh, get up. And also on Carolyn's one, if you do need to have a chair with arms and you need that help and support, please use that those arms on the chair as well. Yep, if you yep. need it. Well, three, two, one, let's go. Squatting down and up. I do look like a plonker in bunny ears as well. <laughs> <laughs> you notice them on the camera. So that's Lucy Gossage's fault. So hi, Lucy. <laughs> Good. She into a lot of trouble, that Lucy Gossage, doesn't she? What was that? She gets you into a lot of trouble. <laughs> she did. I'm just bringing a bit of Easter sparkle to our Saturday morning with these mini ears. Good. <laughs> and we're going to do two more. That's good, guys. And um, we're just going to relax down. Actually, I'm going to give you a little march just to loosen up those legs. So a little marching again. Carolyn, I'm added in some exercises to our plan. <laughs> so just a little oh, mark for 20 seconds to loosen off those legs. Good. Remember, you can keep it slow if you want. So just shake the legs out. Let's just go for a little walk around in a circle. 
just to get our breath back and relax. So we're gonna go into our punches. Everybody loves this because you feel like you're taking out that frustration on, on everybody. So we're gonna just show you what to do. So keep it slow if you want to. If you want to um, put it in a squat, please do. And if you want to go a little bit faster for 30 seconds, you'll be able to feel the burn. So we're going to go at low to medium intensity. So let's do this, Carolyn. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Good work, guys. I feel like we've got our community right with us at the minute. Excellent. What about our group? That's brilliant. Well, it's the right time of week, isn't it? Exactly, we're just doing it a bit more often. <laughs> Good work, guys. So, 10 seconds left if you want to get a little bit. Woo, feel the burn in my arms there. Good, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So, the next exercise, and this we've got two more exercises of the cardio session before we get a drink. Obviously, you can grab a drink now if you want to. But the next one is going to be star jump. So there's a few options for this. So for the standing one, you can take your leg out, bring it in, opposite leg out. If you want to bring your arms in, you can do it in this way. Okay, so that's number one for the standing version. Number two is making a little bit more dynamic. Okay, and number three is making it a little bit faster. So that's from my position, Carolyn. You can either take your feet <clears throat> either march them outwards and inwards so they both go wide both go narrow or you can make your arms do the same so you're opening out like a star and then coming back into the middle or if you're feeling bold as long as you promise me you'll look after your belly and your back we can do a seated star jump well look at those movements they look very pretty <laughs> <laughs> right let's go 30 seconds three two one so if you're just doing Standing ones, you see the different options, or we can take it into a full star jump. Good guys, I'm going to vary it so you can see. Remember, we've got you, you're not alone. We are doing this with you, and we are your tail walkers. Good, well done, guys. So 10 seconds left. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, so the last exercise before I hand over to Carolyn's section is star jumps. I'm not star jumps, ski jumps. But these can also be ski steps. So what we do is, can't see my feet, but you take a step to the side and touch behind. Take a step to the side and touch behind. Step to the side, touch behind. To make this dynamic, you can jump a little, touch, jump, touch, jump, touch. If you just want to step to side, step together, that's also fine. Okay, Carolyn, over to you. So likewise, it can be a side to side step, but again, still um, sitting tall and maintaining good posture with your trunk. If you're feeling bold in the chair and you want to turn it into a little jump, then we can hop almost slalom like. We can hop the feet in either direction. And if you're gonna jump, <clears throat> excuse me, your call about whether you want to keep the knees quite low, or whether you want to really bounce it. But that's hard, it's harder than it looks. <laughs> We're getting a sweat on here as well. So anybody who's missing out skiing, let's try and simulate it during this exercise. So we don't have snow for you, we just have some shine and some video. So are we ready? Three, two, one. So you can step to the side. Good. So 30 seconds and then that's the last exercise of the cardio session. And then just jump. Good. A little jump if you can. Good, guys. Really good work. Hopefully you're all still with us. This is setting up for the day. This will also be on recording if you want to do it later or another time over the weekend. So five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Grab a drink, guys. Well done. First part of the session done. I realise how funny these look. I feel like I'm at our five feet away group, but with two of us that I can see, I can see Carolyn, but then virtually the rest of our community, which is lovely. Feel very connected right now. 
Right, Carolyn, over to you. So I'm getting the chair out of the way just so you can see this, because while you get your breath back, I just want to touch it. We're going to do a little bit of work on strength on the legs, basically legs and arms, a little bit of core, but exercises that we think will engage the muscles that are helpful when you're running and walking. And one of them is a lunge and it's hard, right? But it's really useful. And if you learn to do them well, it's really, really helpful for your leg strength when you're on your feet. So I've deliberately taken a big step back, really big step back, wider, wider than you think. I'm holding onto this rail so that I'm balanced because some people wobble. And then I'm going to bend both knees equally and come back up. So I'm going to stay on this leg and just bob down, bob back up. Now, what some people do is that, which is a different thing altogether, and that really can uh, strain your front knee. It can put a lot of pressure on it. What we're trying to do is make our back leg work by dipping that knee up and down. And if you could check your posture for me, you should be able to see the toe of your front foot. When you're bobbing down, you should be able to see the toe on your front foot. Okay, just try it for me on the other leg. Really big wide step back, bending both knees and coming up. And instantly you should feel here, front of the thigh on the back leg, you'll feel that work. Okay, so can we try back on your first leg, 10 little bobs. Now again, just like Gemma was saying, you do as many of these as you want to do and as many as you feel ready to do, shouldn't hurt. I mean, they're not nice. <laughs> but um, it and what I imagine is, I always imagine somebody putting a pole straight through my yeah. head down to the floor, and it makes me keep in that correct position rather than, as you say, leaning, leaning forward. Exactly. Cool. Oh, the leg. You should be feeling some burning in the in the leg you were just working on. Let's swap legs, and again, ten little bobs down. So to make this a little bit more challenging, you can see that I'm not holding on to anything. I've got my hands on my hips, so I can have my hands out here. So if you want to make this exercise a little bit more challenging, that's absolutely fine as well. Good work, team. Okay, so here should be a word it works. Now, we've done some squats in the cardio bit, but what we're going to try Gemma, can I get, do a little variety to our script? Of course you can. <laughs> Go for it. It's something that I, I use a lot. And oh, that's going to be right. It's a plie squat instead. So, because you've done lots of uh, straight squats already, but can, uh, let me come back. If you take your feet really wide and point your toes out at an angle of 45 degrees. Now, if you want the chair for balance or a rail, then by all means do. But what we're going to do is bend the knees and come up. So it's a wider squat. Now, again, what you're trying to do is bring your body weight back. So you're not, let me come sideways. You're not going there. <laughs> you're not bringing your knees forward. You're bringing the bum back and squeezing. And again, this will just work other glute muscles that are useful for running and walking. Just works them a little bit differently. How many have we got of these, Carolyn? Oh, uh, I reckon I might get half a dozen more while we're talking. Yeah. If, you need, wow. if your knees are tired, stop. But what you should be starting to feel is a, is, is a tiredness in the buttocks, but as I say, a slightly different point to where they were, where you felt it on the straight squats. And you don't have to go as low either, remember that. You can just squat yeah. a little bit and back up. Squat <laughs> a little bit. Back up. Yeah. Now then, we're going to do some stuff on hip and leg strength and flexibility. And I hope you can see my toes. I'm going to tap the front floor in front of me. I'm going to tap the floor to the side of me. And then actually, I'm going to have to move and I'm going to tap the floor behind me. So it's a gentle tap. Okay. To the front, to the side. To the back okay we actually call these killer glutes <laughs> they work your boots really hard yeah so Gemma do you do these more dynamically than I'm doing them no this is great so to, to increase the intensity this is the starting point to increase intensity you can add a theraband into this yeah 
So you put a TheraBand around your ankles and you take that in and out like we're doing now. That's how you that's how you increase it. So not the speed of the movement, just the TheraBand intensity around your legs. And that really works. Having, a band, that's having a band around your legs will make this feel much more intense, won't it? Yeah, and we don't need that on a Saturday morning, really, do we? <laughs> <laughs> Try the other leg if you can, please, team. So again, tapping the floor in front, to the side, to the back. And don't be surprised, certainly we're working the glutes, but you're going to be working the glutes on both sides at the same time, just slightly differently. So if the leg that you're standing on tires, don't be surprised, because it's, it's having to hold you, it's having to stabilise you. Good work, guys. Definitely working up a sweat in here, are you, Carolyn? Yeah, I'm warm. <laughs> <laughs> I should have opened some windows first. We've, we've had a few comments because we've mentioned sunshine a lot, but actually, I know Kate's mentioned up north, it's great. Typical um, up north. <laughs> right, no now then. Sunshine. The next few bits we can do with just our body weight, but I have got two tins of tomatoes, which just help. If you've got something to have in your hand, it just helps to, it kind of helps with concentration a little bit. And I'm simply going to have my tins of beans or whatever in front of me and I'm going to raise them to shoulder level. No higher, doesn't need to be any higher. So to just bring them up nice and gently, hold your tummy muscles in if you can. Good stuff. Nice, smooth, controlled movements. If you have dumbbells, obviously they could do the job here. And actually Gemma mentioned a TheraBand. If you've got a and on a straight band rather than a circular one, you could stand on the end of it and uh, use it to bring your fists upwards. Or if you're creative and have any, you can use some toilet rolls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you still got some. Definitely, Lucy Goddard will have some. <laughs> now, similarly, with your tomatoes, if you think of two different movements that your arms make and actually make it in a to a degree when you're running. So if you think of a pull, like a row, okay? So again, with the beans, what I'm doing is I'm pulling my elbows straight back. So my elbows are skimming my ribs and I'm pulling my shoulders together. My shoulder blades are coming together. And if you do have a band, this can work beautifully. You attach the band to chair, doorknob or whatever. And so, oh, actually you can't see it on there, can you? Can you? And similarly, you can row, pull backwards. Or you can use one of your teammates from 5K your way. Get them to hold it. <laughs> it's amazing what you can use in your house, though, isn't it? Oh, you don't really need any fancy equipment or anything. Yeah. So this one, we've focused the force, if you like. We've focused the resistance, even against ourselves, on pulling backwards. And instead, can you bring your fists or your tins so that they are knuckle up like that? and we're going to push out, okay? And the equivalent of this, if any of you use a gym, you often see a big lad lying on a bench pushing upwards. And it's really similar, very similar movement. It's just a bit of shoulder strength, upper back and arm. And likewise, if you have a TheraBand, here, pushing forward, okay? The arms are getting tired now. <laughs> Great work, everybody. I hope you guys are still with us and enjoying this. Yeah. For our bit, we've, only, we've got three more moves to do uh, in this little strength section. Okay. And then from there, still, by the way, folks, nothing should hurt. Your muscles will tell you when they're tired. And when they do, listen to them. So you've got your tins and we're going to push them up. <laughs> I'm in a really low ceiling. Hang on. Push them up. So actually, let me do this in the chair so you can see my face. So here, straight up. Okay. Good. Great work, guys. And it's often the arms that we neglect a little bit, isn't it, Carolyn? People yeah, I think... Tend to make one of the the I know. Really... Sorry, we're both talking at the same time. Go on, Gemma. No, I was just saying people neglect the arms and tend to focus on the leg exercises and cardio a little bit more. And funnily enough, so I do an awful lot of Nordic walking. 
which is really good for your upper body strength and your arm strength. And strangely, it has really helped my running. I noticed it straight away. It's really improved because I use my upper body uh, much, more, much better. Okay, team, right. we're going to do a thing called a bicycle. And this is about getting a little bit of rotation and movement through your spine. So in a chair, I'm going to take my knee towards the opposite elbow, okay? Now I'm still trying to sit up tall. I'm not rounding, I'm not collapsing. So I'm using the muscles here in my trunk, a little bit of hip as well, to bring knee up to opposite elbow. And the lovely Gemma is doing this standing up. Exactly the same doing it standing up. So it's yep. really working on my core. I'm not coming in and out. I'm really working on that core. And I can feel it in my hips and my legs as well as my core. Good work, guys. Okay. Maintain your posture, though. Don't collapse. Ooh. Cool. And then the other leg when you're ready. And again, even in the chair, you can feel this. You can feel this on your thighs as well as in your trunk. So testing you in all different ways this morning. <laughs> so I hope you guys are still with us, enjoying it, whether you're out in the sunshine or in your lounge, any way that you're doing it, I hope you guys are enjoying it. So I hope you see loads of phone tones as well after this. this is <laughs> our oh, damning evidence. Okay. <laughs> Last one of your strength team now. This, this does involve a little bit of work on the elbows. Uh, no, wrists. Um, but what we're going to do is use a chair to get flat. Gemma's doing it on a wall. And we're going to bring one knee up towards the same elbow. So left knee towards left elbow. Okay, it works on a wall. If you're feeling really active, you could do this with your hands on the floor. Makes it much harder on the belly. There you go. You should go for that. <laughs> <laughs> under control bringing the knees up to the belly you're trying to avoid this it's tempting to stick your bum in the air but what you're trying to do is stay flat but keep moving bringing knee up to belly you can also make it dynamic if you are brave enough <laughs> you can. if you're that way inclined <laughs> do what Gemma's doing <laughs> good guys should feel that there, team. Good. Ooh. There you go for people. Nice bit of strength work for a Saturday morning. Well done. Brilliant. So grab just, we're going to finish off the last session, section of the session, which is going to be the warm down. So grab a drink before we go into this. Um, so what we've done is we've worked on the cardio stuff which is just raising our heart rate a little bit, getting this warm, like we would be doing walking or running around the 5K, with our 5K away group and park run. We've also worked on some strength base all over full body strength based exercises, which will get us stronger for walking and running. And now what we're going to do is just the nice part of the session, which is the warm down. So what I just want you to start off with is just nice, easy, gentle walking on the spot. I'm just going to sit just really nice and easy walking on the spot. I'm just going to put this down a little bit. You can see my knees. Good. So just nice, easy walking on the spot. That's good, guys. So if you want to walk around your garden, walk around your garden, if you want to walk around your lounge, you don't need much space to do this. So it's good. Let's just release everything. Let's de-stress. Let's roll those shoulders. So just nice. Little roll the sh shoulder rolls, you can do that while walking, or if you don't have the coordination, you can do that while standing as well. Good guys, really good. So then we're gonna go into a back stretch. So you're gonna stand in this position or sit in this position and just reach over the top. So I am just gonna move my camera. Again, we're not we're not film producers, so this is quite rough, <laughs> which is fine. We're doing all right. <laughs> we just have to maneuver things around every now and again so everyone can see head and feet. <laughs> and over we go. Again, don't overstretch. Really nice, gentle stretch in your back. And we'll do two more of these. So just into that position. Good. And moving across. 
into the next discussion. So who's looking forward to our cup of tea and cake after this session? <laughs> Always. <laughs> but we do it for, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a shoulder stretch. So take your one arm across the body if you can. One, so wrap that arm underneath the, the arm that's across the body and just stretch slightly. So you should feel the stretch around the back of the shoulder blade and through the arm, depending on how tight you are. Remember we're stretching, you shouldn't feel any pain, so don't overstretch, just nicely, gently stretch into that area. So again, like Carolyn showed, this can be done sitting down as well. Good. And then into the swap over, the arm across the body, this one in front of you, and just gently stretching that shoulder. Oh, it feels nice to stretch. Mm -hmm. I always think stretching with people is a lot better than stretching on your own as well. I definitely think it goes a lot slower and it's a lot, it's quite boring on your own, but with people it's quite nice. Do you know, I love stretching on my own. I find it really <laughs> relaxing. Oh, well, it? You just dedicated, Carolyn, that's why. <laughs> Feels like okay, really so we're going to go into the squat, squat stretch, so if you want to hold the wall, and if you can, you can take your, um, Take your foot underneath you, um, grab your foot and lift it up into a quad stretch. If you are struggling with that, grab a towel and wrap it around your foot. And then what you want to do is bring it as close to the body as possible. Because some of the people will only be able to get it here and already feel the stretch. And that's absolutely fine. Yep. Two ways you can use a chair to get a quad stretch. And it's really helpful to stretch the quads. Is if you sit sideways and bring your toe in a circle until you kind of took it behind you and bend the knee, you can get that same angle on the muscles there. And similarly, actually, you can always use your faithful chair to yeah. elevate your foot. Yeah, and often we do need something else to help us with this stretch. I'm just weirdly flexible as well. Right, change leg. <laughs> so again, in that position, and you can see this angle as well. Find a wall that's that way, if you can. Good guys. So hopefully you're enjoying this nice little stretch off that we've got here. We are coming to the end of our Move Your Way session. We've got one stretch to go. But don't shoot off too soon, because we're just going to have maybe a little chat and a cup of tea afterwards. So the next exercise is just going to be, um, so I'm just going to move this around. It's a little hamstring stretch. So we're going to just go into this position here. So one leg straight, one leg bent, and then you're just going to reach down to that hamstring and you should feel the pull um, along that hamstring, which is a nice stretch. So similarly, I've extended one leg and then I'm diving my chest forward. Temptation is to roll your back, but if you stick your chest out and lean forward and you get a nice stretch at the top of the back of the leg. Good. So we're just going to swap over now onto the other leg. What a lovely hamstring stretch. Definitely got tight hamstrings today. <laughs> I probably need to join our, um, our Move Cancer Rehab instructor. Helen is doing, uh, they're joining in the Zoom call every morning at 6.30 or 6.45 with yoga with Adrian. So wow. I think I'm going to have to set my alarm to get up those, um, those next week to join in with us. So hi Helen if you're on here today. Mm -hmm. Right, fabulous. So what I want you to just do now is just give your body a little shake. Give your body a little roll and a shake and do this when we were younger. And a round of applause, everybody. So we hope you've enjoyed that. So one second, I'm just going to go grab. So... My lovely husband Lewis got my brew ready. <laughs> <laughs> it was ready yeah. waiting there, it's actually really warm. So as you all know, after 5k away um, group meetups and the last day of the month, we do our exercise, but then we go for a cup of tea and... Well, here's the thing. At Southwark, this tin appears pretty reliably because to get people to come along to Southwark, I just bribe them, frankly. <laughs> And I have homemade hot cross buns, people. Wow. Oh, <laughs> can we not virtually put them through the... I know, it's really mean, isn't it? Waving them on the camera. 
Now that actually seen a lot of people making homemade crust, hot crust buns over the last couple of days. And yeah, they're nice to do. They're quite time consuming. As yeah, a disclaimer, I should of course say that some some months they are sugar free our bakes. Oh, are they? Oh, Good jobs. but they're definitely better with the sugar in and the, um, <laughs> the butter in. Each to their own, eh? Um, so we hope you guys, I uh, just want to say, well, actually, first of all, I want to say a huge thank you to Carolyn. Um, oh, pleasure. Thank you. Thank you so much for being my tag team. So virtual high five. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> and I hope you've really enjoyed our first ever Move Your Way live session. As we said, it's just for you guys to get involved and hope you've moved in your own way or just watched us um, and um, felt part of that community again. So hopefully we'll be able to see some pictures maybe or some videos of you guys taking part so we can all feel like we're, we're still part of our amazing community. And um, like Carolyn said before, please, please reach out. Um, there's a lot of people in for isolation and shielding. We are here for you. We have all the groups have Facebook pages. Definitely. We have our main Facebook page um, and our and our five k away group as well. So please, please get in contact. We will. We can virtually chat to you, give you a virtual hug, um, and be there for you. So we're going to be doing this again on our five k away meetup day in yeah. two weeks' time. Yeah. So hopefully you guys will join us there. Have a fantastic Saturday, Carolyn. Yeah. Don't want to leave us with anything. Sorry, Gemma. So I was just going to say, I don't know whether you want to say a couple of words before we go. Just have a lovely Saturday. As, uh, as Gemma's been saying, you know, lots of virtual support. I know it's not quite the same, but lots of virtual support from um, from inside your phone or your computer if, you, if you're stuck at home. Brilliant. Well, thanks for having us, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you later. Bye. Take care. See you. <laughs>